Okay, so I just want to say this is an Amazon item and it came just like this. So it did not come in an outer box at all. So I'm hoping that they took good care in shipping it because I know yeah. microscopes and telescopes, I'm sorry, are very fragile. And with it not having any protection or box, I don't know what it's going, if it's going to still be um, the scope, whether or not it's going to be aligned to where we can use it. So we'll take a look. Um, it's in a plastic bag and then it's in a, its own carrying bag, which is kind of nice. Making sure you guys can see all this. <laughs> yep. Okay. So there's a Velcro that holds it all shut. And then you just uh, unzip it here. There is an instruction manual right here. There's the tripod. Make sure. Yeah. Okay, so we have the tripod right here. The telescope itself right here. Here's the smartphone adapter so that you can view it through your smartphone. And this little bag here looks like it may have the different lenses. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Oh yeah, so the different eyepieces. This is the nine millimeter. This is the 0.5 or 17.5 millimeter. And we have the 25 millimeter. There's also some little screw on nut, not lock nut type things right here. This looks like a lens. Yep, this is a borrow lens three times. Little cleaning cloth. I think this is an eyepiece too. And it looks like we have a bracket here for attaching that eyepiece. And those little screw on things say, say go like right here. This one's missing one, but I heard one, I think drop. Yeah. So it just kind of fell out of there. Um, I'm going to read the instructions and before I set this up and just make sure I do everything right, I'll take it all out of the plastic. In here is the rotating lens too. I think where these pieces go into it, the lenses. And there's a little pocket for it to go right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff out of the plastic and uh, read the instructions and see if I can set it up. It's actually a clear night tonight, so I'm hoping that we can see the moon and some stars since the rain has subsided at least for, for, the, for the current moment. So um, I will take a look at this and we'll see what we can do about setting it up. <clears throat> all right, so I have laid out all the pieces here. This is the tripod and it's pretty simple instructions. So it basically starts with setting up the tripod, then putting the telescope onto the tripod and setting up with the eyepieces. So I did want to note the um, telescope actually came with this air pillow around the eyepieces so I wanted to make note that I'm going to go ahead and keep this so that way we can ensure that when we put it away it's got extra protection so I just kind of wanted to show that and so I'm going to go ahead and set up the telescope onto the tripod using these instructions so first it says to gently put the tripod pull out the legs as far as part as they can embrace it until it sits flat in a horizontal position which I have already done and then it says the um, accessory tray which is the round thing that I showed you in the little pocket that's actually an accessory tray for the eyepieces 
So that goes down into the bottom right here of the tripod on the first tier. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that there. And it just um, sets down in. Actually, it screws on. So just screw that on to secure it in there. And now it says to align the screw holes to the telescope. Um, so we take the telescope and it says to align the screw holes, which is right here, to this right here. To the screw of the tripod and then you're going to turn the knob to tighten the screw. So, we want to basically align that there, and you can't really see, can you see, yep, so I'm going to tighten this right here, which is going to tighten the screw onto the tripod, or the telescope onto the tripod. So that is on there nice and tight. It's not wobbling. Okay. So now to make sure that this doesn't, so I don't know if you noticed, but the micro or telescope is heavy, so it just was going to flop down. So this handle right here, when you turn it to the right, it actually tightens it, so it prevents the telescope from moving forward or backwards. You can also turn it to the left to unscrew it and then rotate the telescope um, in a direction and I don't know if you can see but there is also a little compass right here on the top of the telescope to see which direction you're pointing the telescope in. Keep the telescope in place by tightening the mount plate adjustment which is this is what I just told you which is the long handle knob turning it right and left that is the knob that they are referring to. So now it says to select an eyepiece Place it in the rotating diagonal. Lock the eyepiece into place with the thumb screws. So those are those little tiny thumb screws that I told you about. And so we're going to go ahead and get that set up. So that's going to be this step right here. So I was trying to figure out the whole eyepiece thing and there is a monocular telescope uh, model and a trinocular telescope model and we have the tri that's what this section is right here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the different um, eyepieces that I told you with the different um, millimeter lenses and there is a hole where they um, tighten and screw onto that which is what those three little if I can find them again oh here uh, these little thumb screws here that they mentioned um, tighten these ocular lenses into this. So that is what I'm going to do now. I have one in my hand, so you just kind of place it in there and then take these ocular or the thumb screws and um, tighten it in to make sure that the lens is secure. Okay, so I just did it thumb tight, and I went ahead and put the millimeter um, number up on top just so I know which one I am looking at. So we're going to go ahead and do the 25 here. I'm going to do the 17.5 uh, on the next one. And I'm just going to rotate this. And then I will put the last one here, which is the nine millimeter. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. And again, just placing it with the number upright so we can easily see which one we have placed there. These eyepieces have a flexible rubber lens uh, cover around them, so it would be soft and easy on your eyes. So we went ahead and uh, put those on. 
So the next step is to unscrew the thumb screws located on the finder scope bracket and then place the finder scope through the opening of the finder scope bracket. So the finder scope bracket looks like this and it is going to go right here with these thumb screws right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get that set up. All right, so I have mounted the eye piece there and now um, we are going to go ahead and put the finder scope into the bracket. Just, you're gonna slide it in there and they have these rubber things on there. I'm gonna put them where the brackets go so it doesn't mar up the tube. So I'm gonna line that up to where I have and then tighten that down. And there's three thumb screws on both brackets. So remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So turn them to the right to tighten. Oops. Okay. And then it says to align the slot with a telescope tube and insert the finder scope, which I just did. So then we have this um, borrow lens three times, and we were looking at that. And when you use the borrow lens, it actually gives you greater magnification. So we have the nine, the 17, and the 25. And so by using the nine millimeter with the borrow lens, we can get up to 133.5. So I found out how to do that. I'm gonna lower. The camera back down to the lens so this right here is a nine millimeter lens so we're going to loosen this um, thumb screw which I just dropped it out <laughs> there we go and then the um, borrow lens actually goes in first so we're going to put that the borrow lens in first tighten the thumb screw with that and then I'm going to loosen the thumb screw that's on the borrow lens. And then we're going to insert the nine millimeter lens um, into that. And this will give us the greater magnification. So we are, have got this all set up. And as soon as it gets dark enough, I plan on taking it outside and uh, seeing um, what we can see out there. So, so far I'm pretty excited. It looks like it's Sorry, my cats are fighting in the background, but um, pretty easy to set up. And so I'm just going to read up a little bit on um, focusing and whatnot, just so I know what I'm doing when I get out there and learning what to find. So stay tuned. Hopefully you enjoyed this video.